The sheriff's department is coming under fire from the family of a man who died in jail. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. Lonnie Rupard's death was ruled a homicide and records show he lost 60 pounds in three months in jail. His family tells 10 News investigator Adam Rakusin they believe the sheriff's department is responsible. In life, there are few bonds stronger than that between a father and son. Justina Rupert says he and his father, Lonnie, had that special connection. It was always encouraging me to do, step out of my comfort zone and, and not to be afraid to keep my head up high and always keep positivity in my life. But on March 17th, 2022, that bond was broken. Lonnie Rupert was found in his bunk at San Diego County Central Jail, unresponsive and not breathing. The 47-year-old father died a short time later. It was very difficult to hear because it was so surreal. You wouldn't think that something like this could happen to your father. What's been even more difficult for Justino to cope with is how his dad died and the conditions he was found in. According to a lawsuit the family filed against the County of San Diego, Sheriff Kelly Martinez and several others, Lonnie Rupert died from pneumonia, malnutrition, and dehydration. The lawsuit says he suffered from schizophrenia. It claims county employees neglected his schizophrenia and basic care needs despite obvious signs that he was in medical distress requiring medical care. This was a man who needed medication. He was completely incoherent. He was uh, not clearly not able to take care of himself and he was seen in medical distress and yet nobody did anything. Jeremiah Lowe's the family's attorney. They're suing for wrongful death and negligence, among other things. Lowe says at the time of the autopsy, Lonnie weighed 105 pounds. He says he'd lost 60 pounds, or 36% loss of total body weight, since the time of his arrest about three months earlier. According to the lawsuit, three days prior to his death, Lonnie was reportedly seen by a court-ordered psychiatrist for examination of mental competency to stand trial. The lawsuit claims the psychiatrist noted Lonnie's cell was dirty with trash throughout. The toilet was full of excrement. It says there were feces on the floor and food smeared on the walls. Lonnie was observed to be unkempt and dirty. Jeremiah Lowe details what else they allege in the lawsuit. Just think about how bad those conditions must be that somebody was ultimately dehydrated, malnourished, off of his medications, died in a cell that was covered in, in feces and food that had larva in it. It's inhumane. In a statement to ABC 10 News, a spokesperson for the Sheriff's Department said they don't comment on pending litigation. They said the department continues to prioritize the health and well-being of all individuals in their custody, and their sympathies are with the family and all those affected by Mr. Rupert's passing. Take better care of people who are mentally ill and ensure that another death doesn't happen again. In February of last year, the California State Auditor released a report stating the high rate of deaths in San Diego County's jails compared to other counties raises concerns and suggests that underlying systemic issues with the sheriff's department's policies and practices have undermined its ability to ensure the health and safety of the individuals in its custody. Lonnie Rupert died a month after that state audit was released. He was one of 19 people to die in the sheriff's department's custody last year, a record-setting year for in-custody deaths. If sheriff was listening to you, what's something that you would want her to hear? To not forget my dad's name, to remember what has happened and to make sure it hasn't happened again. With photographer Ray Higgins, I'm Adam Rakusin reporting. The Sheriff's Department says since Lonnie Rupard's death, they have made several changes to help identify when a person in custody may need additional medical and mental health care.